friends in my previous video we have uh, seen uh, percentages various uh, concepts of percentages various uh, uh, shortcuts and how to solve if you understand those things uh, it is easy to solve some questions and all so in this video we see we solve some questions okay right the moderate questions and all we try to solve see in the uh, the examination especially clerical examination these kind of questions are quite common you can see in my, uh, all the examples whatever we have taken are almost to the previous paper questions only see quite commonly asked question in especially clerical examination see the question friends a uh, difference between 82 percent of a number and 27 uh, percent of a number is 385 what is 43 percent of that number okay in this case he has given 83 percent of the number the difference he has given of 83 percent and uh, 27 percent and he is asking us 43 percent see usually uh, first let us see 82 percent difference between 82 percent and 27 percent is 55 percent immediately you see immediately you have to calculate 82 percent and 27 percent difference is 55 percent my dear friends you avoid these steps especially in the examination don't try to write each and every step on the paper it's uh, i mean uh, you take a lot of time avoid such kind of things immediately it should come difference between 82 percent and 27 percent means you should come so uh, one trick here is to find out 82 and 27 deducting 27 is difficult for you so you take it as 30 by adding 3 i'll give a technique here by adding 3 you take it as 30 8 to minus 30 easily you can say uh, it is a 52 and uh, 3 actually I increased that 3 have to deduct so that uh, so when I increase 3 here it should be increased at 3 by here also okay so 8 to minus 30 is 52 plus 3 55 or other way deducting round figures are always easy friends always we can deduct round figures here we have to deduct 27 which is difficult but round figure is 30 30 easily you can deduct easily you can deduct what is you add 3 and make it 30 but when you add 3 here also should add 3 don't forget you are added 3 so add 3 here also that becomes 85 85 minus 30 is 55 quite easy friends for you deducting 27 from 82 is difficult but deducting 30 from 85 is easy so deducting round figures is always easy so by add or subtract uh, by adding or subtracting something you make this figure as a round figure if you whatever you are adding you add same thing here whatever you are deducting you deduct the same thing here here i added 3 and made it as 30 here also i'm adding 3 and making it is at 85 85 minus 30 is 55 clear friends okay for calculations whenever uh, time comes whenever i explain questions i try to give some techniques of uh, uh, these uh, simplifications also we call it as speed mass techniques actually my speed mass uh, uh, techniques i have given in uh, my other videos also apart from my exclusive speed mass techniques i give some speed mass techniques while solving uh, some of these arithmetic questions also friends for your convenience okay here he has given difference between 82 percent and 27 percent which is 55 percent this 55 percent value he has given as 385 he has given as 385 and what is asking what is 43 percent generally friends 55 percent he has given and students try to find out what is the full number means what is 100 percent of the number First they find out 100% and then they calculate 43% which is useless, waste of time. Let us not do so. Already he has given 55% value as 385 and he is asking what is 43% value. What is 43% value? That's it friends. It is 43 by 55 into 385. After calculation you will get this one as 301 friends. So 43% of 385 is nothing but 301 so easily we can calculate this way see here not only they are testing our percentages uh, uh, concepts he is testing our calculation abilities also here we are doing actually in simple way we are calculating so we can save some time here friends uh, let us take uh, another example friends here see the question the length of a rectangle is doubled and the breadth is halved what is the percentage change in the area see he has not given length 
he has not given breadth but length has increased increased whatever it is see now in this case the length has increased double you make it as double and uh, the breadth you make it as half so what is the change in the area as the length and the breadth of the rectangle has uh, is not been given we can take some x and y or l and b that and all is bit confusion as unknown uh, thing we take it as x and all but let us not take it as anything friends anyway the rectangle length and breadth is not given i assume some figure you can take 100 and 100 but i take 10 and 10 length is 10 and breadth also 10 we can assume our uh, figures like this if length is 10 breadth is 10 what is the area of rectangle length into breadth it is 10 into 10 that becomes 100 though the area is 100 now what this is original thing now what has happened he has some changes have been taken place here what is the change the rectangle length has been doubled Dub in this case length is 10 it has been doubled double means has become 20 and the breadth has, breadth has become half it has become half what is half of 10 half of 10 is 5 now the length has become 20 R breadth has become 5 now what is the area 20 into 5 what happened it is 100 again so now the new area is 100 so after length has been increased by 20 percent i mean uh, doubled and uh, breadth has become uh, halved it means exactly half then what is the area area is once again the same that means there is no change in the area is our answer when the length is increased i mean i mean doubled and uh, breadth is uh, decreased by half or halved the what is the change in the area means there is no change taken place here it is once again the same not only like this friends based on this one now we can take anything for example length is increased by 20 percent or 25 percent whatever it is breadth is uh, decreased by some 25 percent then what is the change in the area once again our same now once again i'm assuming that length is 10 breadth is also 10 so what is the area 100 100 is original area now let us calculate the new area according to the new changes i mean new uh, dimensions or new figures now length is increased by 20 percent what is 20 percent of 10 i told you friends in my previous video 10 percent is one another 10 percent another one 20 percent means two so it is 12 to increased to increased so that it has become 12 now the new length is 12 what about the new breadth? New breadth is decreased by 25%. What is 25%? 25% of 10 is 2.5. Decrease. That has become 7.5. Okay. So, it has become 7.5. Now, the new length is uh, 12. New breadth is 7.5. What is 12, point, 12 into 7.5? How do you calculate 12 into 7.5? Simple technique, my dear friends. Let us break 12 as 10 plus 2. 7.5 into 10 7.5 into 10 is 75 then 7.5 into 2 7.5 into 2 is 15 so 7.5 into 10 is 75 plus 15 75 plus 15 is 90 without pen you can calculate so this is 90 earlier uh, area was 100 now the area is 90 how much decrement decrement is 10 okay 10 is decreasing change is 10 10 from where it is decreasing, I told you in the previous area. So, whatever the figure you are comparing with, that should be always written in the denominator. So, decrement is 10 here from 100 into 100 for percentage. This is nothing but 10%. So, what is the change taken place here? 10% decreased. If at all you ask you in the examination, what is the change? You can say 10% is a change or what is the change happened if the options are given 10% increased, 10% decreased, 15% increased, 5% decreased. Be very careful friends. Accordingly, you have to go to the options. Here the change is 10% decreased. Be very careful about the options. How he has given? What is the change? Change is 10% decreased from the previous one is the answer. We see this question friends. This is quite commonly asked question in the bank or other competitive examinations. Regularly they ask this question. <clears throat> in an exam it is required to get 350 marks to pass. A student gets 32% marks and is failed. 
by 70 marks. So what are the maximum marks of that examination? Actually, uh, a student get three, actually it is required 350 marks. He has to score 350 marks to pass in that examination. But uh, the student got 32% marks, but still he failed. By how many marks he failed? 70 marks he failed. That means if he can get 70 more marks, he can pass. But he got 70 marks less for passing. We know already that passing marks are 350. But student got 70 less than that one. That means 350 minus 70. That he got only 280 marks. He failed by 70 means he got 70 marks less than the required marks. That is 280 marks he got. But he said he got 32% marks. That means 32% marks is nothing but 280 marks. And what is asking? What are the aggregate marks? I mean squad, total marks. Total marks we know. Total marks is total means always 100%. So he has given 32% marks equivalent to 280. What is 100% marks? 100% is how much? So simple, 100 by 32 into 280, which is 875 marks. So total marks to pass in the examination is 875 marks. So these kind of questions are quite common in the examination. Just see friends, you have to understand that uh, each, actually 350 is the passing marks. Student got 70 less, 70 less than the passing marks means passing marks you keep in mind. 70 less than that one. 350 minus 70, 280. He got 32%. So 32% is 280. So whatever the way he ask you, then you understand how what the, the figures he has given. Accordingly you solve. You get the answer friends. Let us see this question friends. The production of a company decreased by 25% due to shortage of manpower. By what percentage should the working hour be increased so that the original production, to restore the original production? I told you in my uh, basic uh, classes of these percentages, in my video I have given. Whenever two variables are inversely proportional, if one is more, other one is less. One is less, other one is more. Here, See this one. See, the production is decreased due to the manpower. Manpower is decreased so that to restore the same production, so number of working hours should be increased. If it is reduced, the other one should be increased. Whenever two variables are inversely proportional, I gave you a formula. That is, x by 100 plus or minus x into 100. I said to you friends, if the first variable is increased, you take positive value. If the first variable is decreased, take a negative value. Here, the uh, manpower, actually, the, it is the production is decreased by 25%. Decreasing, so minus. How much? 25. Decreasing, so minus. 100 minus 25. 75 into 100. This is one third. One third is nothing but 33, 1 by 3 percentage, friends. This is our answer. So that uh, uh, manpower, it's a working hour should be increased by 33, 1 by 3 percentage. This is by using a formula. And you remember, I gave you a shortcut also for this question. I gave a shortcut. Okay, that I said you. Now here, it is increased by 25%. I mean, decreased by 25%. If it is decreased by 25%, so naturally working hours should be increased. How much it should be increased? 25% means 1 by 4. The other one should be increased. Should mean should be more than this one. How much means? Uh, more than this one means it should be 3, 2, 1 like this one. 4 minus 1. That is nothing but 1 by 3 more. 1 by 3 means 1 by 3 is nothing but 33 1 by 3 percent more shortcut. So these two are shortcuts only using formula shortcut and this one also for uh, shortcut. So you can use any of these methods to answer this question friends.